Mohamed Salah's journey through highs and lows kicked off when he ventured from Egypt to Chelsea. However, his spark was somewhat dulled in the Blues jersey due to limited opportunities. It was in Serie A, with Fiorentina and AS Roma, where Salah's true brilliance resurfaced, transforming him into a stellar figure upon his move to Liverpool. His name resonated across Anfield, revered as the Red Saviour. Before gracing the Premier League, Salah's prowess shone brightly at FC Basel in Switzerland, tallying 20 goals and 17 assists over two seasons. Chelsea scouts keenly spotted his talent, securing him in a significant €16 million Euro deal during the winter transfer window of 2014. Despite the fanfare of his arrival, Mourinho's jests about Salah's prior goal against Chelsea in the Europa League stirred some amusement. He won't score again, Mourinho quipped, playfully underscoring the need for left-footed talent. Salah's debut against Newcastle United saw him only gain 12 minutes on the pitch, with his first goal for Chelsea arriving in Week 31, sealing a resounding victory against Arsenal. Despite Mourinho's cautious optimism, Salah struggled to cement his place. He garnered only 10 appearances and scored two goals in the Premier League that season, falling short compared to other attacking talents like Hazard and William. The Egyptian winger, born in Nagrig, understood the challenges of competing in a team of Chelsea's calibre. Only great players deserve to play, Salah remarked, acknowledging the need to earn his spot. Mourinho, despite his admiration for Salah, urged patience, emphasising the evolution through training for a chance to shine. Mohamed Salah, pushed to his limits, opted for a change, departing for Fiorentina on a six-month loan in the 2014-2015 season. The left-footed maestro found his rhythm on the right flank of La Viola's attack, swiftly making an impact. His debut, a mere 25-minute stint against Atalanta, hinted at the spectacle to come. The following game showcased Salah's prowess with a goal and an assist, a trend he maintained against Torino and Inter Milan, netting a goal in each encounter. His strike against Inter Milan marked a historic moment, breaking their decade-long winless streak at Giuseppe Miazza. The unexpected arrival of Salah drew praise from Fiorentina sporting director, Daniel Prade, who acknowledged Salah's unplanned but impactful addition to the team, comparing it to previous successful acquisitions. Salah's six-month stint in the La Viola Colors saw him participate in 26 matches, contributing nine goals and four assists, prompting Fiorentina to prepare an 18 million euro offer. The club director, Vincenzo Garini, expressed confidence in Chelsea's acceptance of the offer due to Salah's immense impact. However, Chelsea opted to transfer Salah to AS Roma in the summer of 2015, leaving Fiorentina feeling disregarded. Fiorentina considered legal action against Chelsea and AS Roma, alleging improprieties in Salah's transfer. Yet, FIFA dismissed Fiorentina's claims, finding both clubs innocent of any wrongdoing. Consequently, on August 6, 2015, Mohamed Salah officially joined AS Roma on loan for a fee of €5 million. Euros. Salah, born in 1992, explained his choice, citing Roma's stature as one of the world's premier teams. I am thrilled to be here, he remarked, recognizing the shared ambition within the club to strive for championships. Salah, ever committed to pleasing the fans, expressed his determination everyone will put in their utmost to bring joy to the supporters. AS Roma's coach, Rudy Garcia, extended a warm greeting to the winger, acknowledging Salah's quality and expressing hope in finding the right system to maximise his abilities within the team's style of play, heavily reliant on wing-based attacks. According to WhoScored.com, a significant 74% of AS Roma's offensive prowess comes from their wing play. Sassuolo bore witness to Salah's debut in the Gioia Rossi colours, though his opening goal wasn't enough to secure a win, resulting in a 2-2 draw. Throughout his stint, Salah bagged 15 goals and 7 assists across all competitions, prompting AS Roma to secure his services permanently for €15 million. Euros. His subsequent season was even more impressive, with 19 goals and 13 assists, propelling Ilupi to a commendable second-place finish in Serie A for the 2016-2017 campaign. Eusebio Di Francesco, acknowledging Salah's phenomenal contributions, hailed him as the epitome of a modern winger, capable of being a game-changer in every match.
D.I. Francesco expressed immense pride in having Salah, lauding his ability to draw attention and execute tactics flawlessly. In the summer of 2017, Mohamed Salah bid farewell to A.S. Roma, setting his sights on Liverpool in a record-breaking transfer worth €42 million, Euros, marking him as the most expensive Egyptian player in football history. His excitement for the new journey was palpable as he expressed eagerness to give his all for Liverpool, aiming to secure titles with the club. Salah's decision to join Liverpool was influenced by Jurgen Klopp, who hailed him as a fantastic player with incredible pace, foreseeing his greatness within the team. Paired with Roberto Firmino and Sadio Mane, Salah formed a lethal attacking trio, showcasing their prowess under Klopp's strategic guidance. This amalgamation resulted in Salah's incredible debut season, earning him the moniker, King Mo, after notching a staggering 32 goals, snatching the top scorer title from notable names like Harry Kane, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Alan Shearer. Even Jose Mourinho, Salah's former coach at Chelsea, acknowledged his remarkable transformation, praising his evolution from a quick but fragile player to a robust force capable of thriving in any position against any opponent. Despite a setback in the Champions League final against Real Madrid, Salah didn't relent. He steered Liverpool to European glory in the 2019-2020 season, clinching the Champions League trophy. The subsequent season brought even more triumph as Liverpool secured the Premier League title for the first time since 1990, marking a historic achievement for the Reds. Liverpool entered the 2021-2022 season eyeing their 20th English league title, engaging in a tense battle with Manchester City until the final week. The thrilling climax unfolded as City, needing a win against Aston Villa, found themselves trailing by two goals. Yet, a remarkable turnaround, sparked by Rodri's goal and a brace from Ilkay Gundogan, secured City the victory and the title, leaving the Reds a mere point adrift despite their commendable 92 points. Jurgen Klopp, gracious in defeat, congratulated Pep Guardiola's side while acknowledging the disappointment, this moment is a huge letdown for us. Despite the team's inability to clinch the title, Mohamed Salah stood out, claiming the Premier League's top scorer spot alongside Sun Heung Min with 23 goals, marking his continuous impact throughout the season. The subsequent 2022-2023 season saw Liverpool bidding adieu to Sadio Mane, who departed for Bayern Munich, ending a partnership that contributed a remarkable 276 goals over five seasons. Mané's departure stemmed from disillusionment with Liverpool's management, feeling overlooked as Salah received a lucrative new contract. Liverpool swiftly aimed to fill the void, targeting Cody Gakpo and Darwin Nunez. However, their performances in the inaugural season proved inconsistent. Despite Salah's impressive tally of 30 goals and 16 assists, Liverpool fell short of securing a top four finish in the Premier League, settling for fifth place with 67 points. The 2023-2024 season emerges as a beacon of hope for both Mohamed Salah and the Reds. With fresh talent bolstering the midfield and front line, Liverpool edges closer to rekindling their former consistency. They trail Arsenal by a mere two points, firmly securing the second spot. Amidst this resurgence, Salah's consistency shines through with 13 goals, and notably, he set an individual record, notching an impressive 12 goals in a single Premier League match against Brentford. Jurgen Klopp effusively lauded Salah's contributions, praising the player known as the Pharaoh. Salah's career trajectory has been nothing short of phenomenal, boasting a tally of 200 Premier League goals. Klopp emphatically asserts Salah's uniqueness, dubbing him a truly exceptional player. Thomas Frank, Brentford's coach, echoes Klopp's sentiments, hailing Salah as the Premier League's standout talent, underscoring his unmatched prowess in both goals and assists. Salah's steadfast loyalty to Liverpool, despite tempting offers like the one from Olitihad, further cements his status as an icon within the club. As Salah sets his sights on reclaiming the Premier League throne with Liverpool and eyes the Europa League trophy, one question arises, does Salah's continuous pivotal role within the Reds' ranks qualify him as Liverpool's greatest player of all time? Share your thoughts and comments below.